Blessed, most merciful Heavenly Father, Lord, I come before you humbly, Lord, and I beg, and I plead, Lord, that you give me the courage, the will, the words, the wisdom to speak, what you've given me to speak. I pray in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. I am only the dust of the earth, and no, and no one is beneath me. And the only thing, the only thing that's special about me is that I am forgiven. And I am, I am God's dirt. The Holy Spirit told me to make this video. And to be honest, he told me to make it a week ago. But things happen. And I put it off for a couple days myself. And when the one thing led to another, and now the, the Holy Spirit reminds me strongly that I am to make this video. And I am to tell you what happened to me oh. about five years ago, about 2018. And I was lying in bed and I was, I was praying. I had my, my arms outstretched toward heaven. And I was I was praying in the spirit and I was shaking and shaking and and then my arms grew so tired and I, I lay my arms down beside me and just kept praying and it, it just felt like a, a warm blanket just just covered me it, it just felt warm and comfortable it felt so good and I still had my eyes closed I had been trying to go to sleep, but I, I couldn't sleep, and so I just I just I just figure if I can't sleep, I'll pray. So I started praying, and and then uh, a few minutes after I quit praying, I was just laying there, and I just was feeling that warm blanket all over me. It was it was the Holy Spirit pouring out His Spirit upon me. And I felt, I felt the Holy Spirit. Now I, I never opened my eyes, but I, I felt, I felt the Holy Spirit come to me, and, and He hovered above me. And I, I just sensed, I just knew that He was so close that I could just reach up and touch Him. Now, He, He was so close, I, I could. I could hear his breathing, and uh, so I, I knew he was there. And he spoke to me. He spoke to me with words that I heard with my own ears. And what he said was, "America was about to en enter the time of sorrows." And I, I wept, and I prayed, as I knew what that meant especially from all the dreams that I had been given. And then, about 2020, and the, then there was a second time that the Holy Spirit again came to me in the exact same manner. I again was praying, laying in bed, had my arms outstretched toward heaven, and was shaking in the Spirit. And then I felt a warm, like a warm blanket just cover me, and it, it felt so peaceful, so good. And I felt him, I've, I've sensed him so close above me that I, I could even feel his breath upon me. But I, I never opened my eyes again. And this time he spoke to me, and again I heard him with my own ears. And what he said was, America was in the time of sorrows and again I wept and I prayed because from all my many dreams I knew I knew what was to come but then about a year or so later and this happened in about 2021 and then a third time the Holy Spirit he comes to me again in exactly the same way 
And again, I am praying with my arms stretched toward heaven, just praying and praying and shaking in the spirit. And my arms grew tired, and I lay my arms down beside me. And then I felt the Holy Spirit come to me, hover above me, and I felt that warm blanket just cover me. It felt so good. It felt peaceful, calm. And this time, the Holy Spirit spoke to me again, and I heard his voice with my own ears. This was not something that he spoke in my head or in my heart. This is this I heard with my own ears. And this time, the Holy Spirit told me, America is Babylon, and America will be destroyed in one hour. And then the Holy Spirit told me to read Jeremiah 50 and 51, and Revelation 18. Now, if you read those chapters, you will see that it, that it is very clear that God is warning Babylon, America, of her destruction to come. Name me one other nation that has been a golden cup in God's hand. Only America fits that. Name me, name me one other nation that sets up on many waters. America sets up on the Atlantic, Pacific, Gulf of Mexico, and even the Great Lakes. Name me one other nation whose army can be considered the hammer of the whole earth. And who else can have the sea come up on Babylon, America, and be covered with the multitude of the waves thereof? Only America fits all that. Rome doesn't fit. The ancient city of Babylon, which has been destroyed, many 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 years and has never been inhabited since it was destroyed that that doesn't fit now, I want to tell you something uh, Mike and Gail Mike is from New York City and I'm sure you've heard me mention of Mike and Gail and and they live very close to us and we hold our Azusa Street meetings in their home and prayer meetings and Bible study and now Mike being from New York City, uh, he has seen and, and he can verify that the first thing ocean going ships see coming into the New York City Harbor uh, was a huge water tower with big bold letters proclaiming the name of that city. And it said, Babylon. As if to say, Welcome to Babylon. Recently that water tower has been destroyed and I do not know if they have plans to, uh, to rebuild it or not. Now that fits Revelation 18 verses 15 to 24. The water tower with the name Babylon is, on it is the first thing that ships saw of the new world of America as if proclaiming America to be Babylon. No, that's a God thing. So America was not a nation when the Bible was written, so they could not use the word America. But if you read these three chapters, you will see America is very pronounced in the Bible. It also shows and says that America has a special judgment coming as well. <coughs> Now, 100 years ago, it was inconceivable to even imagine that America could even remotely be Babylon. But now look at America with abortion, gay marriage, gay pride everywhere, promoting gay and transgender lifestyles even to our young children in school. Tranny book, story hour everywhere gay pride flags covering the White House and even in our em embassies and many state houses even even clothing is being sold at certain stores bags hats flags bumper stickers all of it pro proclaiming that pride. 
Now you can see why America's Babylon and why God will destroy America in one hour. Remember, the word rapture is not in the King James Bible either, but the word rapturo or rapture is in the original Greek and Latin manuscripts. So when the word rapture, so the word rapture is in is in the translated Bible, the original Bible. And it was translated to caught up. And it was the translation uh, for the English or modern King James Bible was transferred to caught up. As it is written, it will be done. I confess that Jesus Christ come in the flesh. 1 John 4 and 2. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, and every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. 1 John 4 and 3. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. 2 John 1 and 7 For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. And I confess, I confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. So if anyone come to you with any message saying that it is a message from God, and you need to ask yourself, are they are they true to Jesus? Are they true to the Word of God? And are, are they in the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit? Are they working for themselves, or are they working for God? What are their motives? And are these motives contrary to God's will and God's Word? And last, pray about them and ask the Holy Spirit to give you wisdom in following a teacher, a prophet, a pastor, any of them. Remember, do not follow any man, not even me, but follow the one worthy of being followed, and that is Jesus Christ and his word only in the King James Bible. We are in the last days, and we are that last generation. And Jesus said that these things would come about in the last days. We love you all so very much, and every one of you has been a gift from God to us, and we love you so very much. And, and we pray for all of you, we really do. But these are the last days. And trouble, trouble times are coming. They're coming out with a new Fed now, a new digital currency. And I don't know when, but, but probably soon they'll be doing away with all the cash. And everything will be on a digital currency basis. And when that happens, they can control your spending they can control what you buy if they don't like you they can delete your account they can freeze your funds when they give you money if you don't spend it in a certain length of time they can take it away from you this is the B system they're preparing the way for the Antichrist they're preparing the way so that must mean that he's close he's waiting in the wings to take control and that means, that means that we fly soon. We fly soon. So we keep all of you in our prayers. And we pray that you're prayed up and, and ready to fly to. Because these are the last days. These are the last days. We're going home so soon. So soon. We were born for this time. To be a witness. To God's heavy hand upon the earth at this time right now and we are here to witness what we are to witness God bless you and God keep every one of you we love you all so very much you're all in our prayers Amen